Mr. Helmer, one minute. Uh, Madam President, we have just seen the unedifying sight of 10,000 climate alarmists flying off to Marrakesh and emitting thousands of tonnes of CO2 in the process. And what have they achieved? Madam President, I will tell you three parts of not very much. On the vexed question of finance, they agreed to keep talking. On the adaptation fund, they failed to reach agreement. On the facilitative dialogue, they postponed to 2018. On the rule book, they reached no real conclusion. On the vague concept of loss and damage from climate change, they agreed a five-year plan, effectively postponing the decision until 2022. That, Madam President, is failure writ large. A few weeks ago, I had the pleasure of hosting my friend Mark Murano of the American advocacy group Climate Depot in the Brussels Parliament for a showing of his movie Climate Hustle, a critical appraisal of climate alarmism. Mark Murano also went to Marrakesh, where he symbolically shredded a copy of the Paris Climate Agreement. We were told that the Paris Agreement was legally binding. In fact, it had no binding targets and no sanctions for non-compliance. We now have a new American president who has repudiated that agreement. I think we can now say with some confidence, Madam President, that the Paris Agreement is well and truly dead.